Hi guys, welcome to UK Northern Adventures. In this video, I'm gonna cover a little bit about shelters, emergency shelters, very low lightweight shelters. Um, you know, if, you, if you're walking and, and, and trekking and so on, these are brilliant. We're using a poncho, which is that there. So it's basically just a military surplus poncho. This one happens to be an Angolan um, poncho. It's equivalent to the smaller size, which is, um, I think, number one poncho. So it's, it's not that big. I'll put some um, measurements down on the description and then you guys can have a look what, what measurements it is. Also, the army surplus tent poles for the poncho. I think these, they run about 250, 260 mil wide. Um, they're made and designed for the poncho. So all you need is two of these, two, two sets of these. Or you can use walking sticks, hiking sticks and, and stuff like that. You can use them. And if you don't have hiking sticks, then you know, you can use a branch. You can cut yourself a, a sapling and, and use two saplings for, for the setup as well. So without ado, let's get to it. Okay, I just tore my bag, um, but never mind, it's okay. Let's get it out. So that's your poncho. Um, now, shelter-wise, a lot of you, if you hiking and, and you're in the rain and so on, and you need something as an emergency, you can always rely on your poncho. Over your head. Hold down tight. Cover yourself, make sure you cover it up. And hunker down until the rain stops. And that's the shelter in, its, in itself. It's not the most pleasant, but you know what? In a survival situation, this will help you and it will get you out of an issue. So a poncho is something that you can carry all the time with you. It's absolutely brilliant. Let me try and get out of this now. It does get quite warm in there. These ponchos are normally referred to as sweat boxes because they do get quite warm. So when you want to do a shelter, so if you're staying overnight or something like that, and um, you want to lie down, if you've got a bivy, which works very nice with the setup if you've got a bivy bag, um, the first thing you need to do is tie the hoodie up. get a nice little knot ball there and essentially what happens is that stops any water ingress coming in there always let the wind do the work so lay your poncho down flat Open it up. Get your bivy. Just lay it like that. Bring your shelter over your bivy bag. there which you can now attach to that section
tail off there. Then just to give you extra comfort, just a little bit more head height. On there. There you go. Now, you don't have much space on the bottom there, but that doesn't matter because your legs are going to be inside the bivy and you yourself are going to be inside there. And you, you know, the lower the shelter is, the more warmth you're going to get. So basically, as a survival shelter, that's a brilliant shelter. That was embarrassing. Let's just try that again. So as you can tell, I'm quite comfortable here. I'm inside, I can get inside the baby bag. And if I've got a sleeping bag or something like that, then I can get in that as well. And right over here, I can actually make a tiny little small fire, which is gonna increase the heat and the warmth inside the shelter. So as a survival shelter, this is a brilliant shelter. There are numerous amounts of shelters and different setups that you can do with a poncho. There's loads of setups and it's brilliant. It's lightweight, it's waterproof. It does give up quite a lot of warming here because your body heat gets trapped behind you, which is good. And um, as an emergency shelter, it's, it's brilliant, it's excellent. As I was saying, this is another typical setup. So, you know, the best, I would say is um, get a poncho and just try different setups and get a setup that you like. This typical setup here I'll suggest for, for summer. I wouldn't suggest this for a winter setup. But hey, if it suits you, then go for it. A poncho, versatile, warm and light. I think we're getting one. See you.